while this is going on, it feels like things are going, there's just so weird. Mm -hmm. Some people are like scared to go outside their homes. All the while, there's some pretty amazing things that are happening. Ingenuity Mm -hmm. is one thing that I love about this. People who are not able to do their jobs anymore because they can't be around people figuring out a new way to do their jobs. One of those people is on the phone with us right now. Joey Turner It's a barber. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're on the list. I think the list of essential employees and critical infrastructure, that list is longer than people that can't be open. And yep. unfortunately, right. the barbers, hairstylists, salons can't be open. So Joey figured out, well, I can't cut people's hair, but I mm-hmm. can show people how to cut hair. And he's on the phone now, Joey. Good morning. Tell us about how are you doing this? How are you helping people cut their own hair? So uh, very quickly, a customer had reached out to me and asked if I could do a tutorial online live with him and his wife. And I said, absolutely. And it just gave me an idea. So all I'm doing is uh, I'm tuning in with people live and making sure they have the right equipment. And we're just doing basic haircuts on live. And I'm just walking them through their uh, haircuts. There, oh, I've seen a lot of jacked up haircuts where <laughs> uh, husbands have gotten their hair messed up with their wives. And so I'm just trying to help them out. And they're helping me out, throwing me a few bucks. And I'm helping them out. I'm walking them through. And uh, so far, so good. I have to say, I'm one of those guilty wives that took the buzzers to my husband's hair. And even though he smiled and said, it's great, honey. Thanks so much. He was wearing a hat for a good week or and a half after that. So this is a huge service that you're providing for people. Yeah, it's been fun. It's, uh, you know, I've gotten bored, of course, and I miss that interaction. And that's what I really like doing is, is cutting hair. And then they're helping me and I'm helping them as well. So it's been great. So what do you do? They're holding the scissors. They've got the comb or brush or whatever. And you're like a little higher, a little higher right there. Okay, cut. Is that how it works? or? So what I do is I have a little mannequin that I'm working on, and I duplicate what they're doing. You know, just walk them through it. I just said, yes, open the guard up here. Start fading there. Nope, come down. You know, go to the right. Go to the left. Obviously, they're not going to get a perfect haircut, but it's just to get them through until all this stuff is over. How many wigs are you going through if you're actually cutting hair on a mannequin? So it's just a bald mannequin, so I'm just duplicating the position of the head Mm -hmm. just so they can get an idea on where to be on the head that they're working on. Gotcha. Talking to Joey Turner, a local barber who couldn't cut hair at his barber shop, so decided to do online tutorials to help people do it at home. Uh, Hey, Joey, you said that you missed uh, talking and, uh, you know, interacting with the customers. Let's say my wife is cutting my hair. What are some questions, like what are some go-to barber questions that she should be asking me while cutting my hair? As far as uh, about what she needs to do on your hair? No, you know, no, just about the, his life. Oh, yeah, just the oh, normal oh, barber how's rhetoric. The okay, how's, how's, how's the weather? How's the weather? Um, we, we would talk about sports, but obviously that's not going on. Um, how's the fishing going? What about, did you hear Mrs. McGillicuddy was having an affair? That's what my hair sounds like. <laughs> right. No, no, no. We're low drama at the shop I work at. <laughs> I love that. And you're also moonlighting as a barbershop quartetist, which I love. Yes, that's a whole other story. Three of my customers were in the shop December 28th, all at the same time that I knew that sang gospel, and I sing gospel myself. They had never met one another, and I said, hey, I know y'all never met each other, but y'all all just happen to be here at the same time, but let's sing something. And they all kind of laughed at me, and I said, I'm serious. So I had a One of the customers, I said, sing this particular song. As soon as he started singing it, the guy in my chair, he hit the high harmony. I said, dang, that sounds good. I said, let's let's all bring it in. So long story short, we all knew the song. It's a Christian song, and we all chimed in, and it sounded fantastic. And before you know it, uh, we recorded it, put it on Facebook, and wound up getting a million views in 10 days. Whoa. And uh, we formed a, a little group, not on purpose, but the Unlikely Four. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Joey, 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 you just described my every fantasy. <laughs> How I longed to have something like that happen. Um, we've got your phone number. Make it the unlikely five. Yeah, if it's this, cor- if this quartet ever wants to turn into a quintet, yeah. right. have got or if you need an alternate, if somebody can't yeah. make it. There you go. Mama sang bass, daddy sang tenor. Let's do it. Oh, but, oh, I know that. 
That's Johnny and June Cash, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. That was the you, question you that got me into test, the band. Right? You passed the test, Ted. <laughs> there you go. How do people get a hold of you and oh, yeah. um, if, if they'd like to uh, use your services? So my name is Joey Turner, J-O-E-Y-T-U-R-N-E-R. I'm on Facebook. Just look me up on there and send me a private message, and we will go from there. 